morning. We have taken the subway from Kowloon Peninsula, which is where we're staying, over to Hong Kong Island because we are going to be hiking up Victoria Peak today. Which is the highest point in the whole of Hong Kong and you know that I am always very excited about a hike. You can just tell from that oozing enthusiasm in my voice. But in order to sweeten the deal, then we're first going to go and grab a coffee. And carb up, not just caffeinate up, but carb up. Let's go. traditional options here. So we have a milk tea and an egg tart that Rachel's gone for. And another thing that they do here is a pineapple bun, but I went for one with a slight twist. Mine comes with some scrambled egg and some barbecue pork inside. And then I just need that extra caffeine hit, but I still want to be kind of traditional. So I went for a bit of a half and half. So this is a hot coffee milk tea. Let's see how it goes. After taking a few bites, I can confirm it's delicious. This kind of tastes like a mix of custard and what the Filipino Pachis Donata from Portugal is. I've had a bite of this as well. Essentially, just imagine kind of a classic bacon and egg breakfast sandwich, but with a sweet edge. Like almost like it's a bit of brioche, but you can taste a little bit of pineapple. I was just saying to Rachel, Back home, you can get a gammon steak, and that always comes with a slice of pineapple. So imagine that, plus an egg on top, and that's basically this. Really nice. central mid-level escalators and this is the first part of our journey on the way up to Victoria Peak. The great news is we don't really have to put any effort in so this is lovely. Yeah I think that's going to change pretty quickly though. <laughs> central mid-level escalators and now we're gonna have to rely on our own steam to get us up to Victoria Peak. Yeah. That said though, the system that is in place is amazing. I think it takes you up a really high level of elevation over about 15 different sets of escalators. So yeah, it's a great way to get around if you're in a hurry and you don't want to completely exhaust yourself. And it's really cool because you get to see a lot of different smaller side streets or they might even be main streets that run across the mountains that make up Hong Kong Island and this just takes you up to different levels you can get off along the way because if you're meeting your friend like five streets up from the base level you don't want to have to walk that many stairs you just take the escalator get off and you can meet for a coffee at whatever shops or restaurants are on that level. And it seems like there are a lot of shops and restaurants. So yeah, it's a really good system and seems to connect you with more or less anything you need. We've been walking for about 15 to 20 minutes on what is mostly flat ground and we've now reached the trailhead. So let's head on up. We're 
we're not even halfway up and already we're getting spectacular views so I can't imagine what it's gonna be like at the top. We're halfway. Woohoo! Made it to the top. Dub dubs. We ended up climbing up 2,700 meters, and it took us probably the best part of half an hour to do. But the views at the top are spectacular. A truly great reward for the physical effort that we put in. All things considered, I thought this was going to be a lot worse than it turned out to be. I think actually a lot of the sloping was taken care of by those escalators, which is definitely a good thing, but the rest of it was a steady climb, but it never felt insurmountable, which was really good. Not like Penang Hill, which yeah. was... Brutal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just gonna enjoy the views from here, and maybe grab some water and a snack, and then head back down. Top, there are a couple of malls with a bunch of different food options but each of those food options was one pretty expensive and two just not quite what we were after so we're gonna head back down in the hopes that we can find something a little bit more to our liking We made it back to our Airbnb and we've had a very well-deserved rest. How many steps do I have? I'm at over 19,000 steps already. So very well-deserved rest. Anyway, there is something called the Temple Street Night Market and it's like a three minute walk away from here. So we figured, let's go check that out. Temple Night Market. Not sure if it's busier on weekends, but it seems very, very similar to our experience of Ladies Market, where it was just a lot of kind of novelty, jewelry, not sure about the authenticity kinds of goods. Sorry, not sure. Definitely fake. Hey, you said it, not me. And so, with that, not really interested in getting anything, but it's still cool to look around. We're gonna go and grab something not authentic or exciting for dinner. So uh, with that then we're gonna call it there and look forward to catching up with you tomorrow. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>